Number 5. The Haunted Theatre We give credit to Phil Koch for this video. On May 20th, 2009, paranormal investigator Phil Koch set out to Bayview, Wisconsin to investigate a haunted theatre. Now, it's important to note that throughout this investigation, Phil was by himself, which makes what happens here all the more terrifying. This is the theater. I got a camera set up in this corner here. And uh, I'm just going to sit. We got a furnace running, so there's sound, but I'm just going to sit and uh, listen. And just let the camera. Crap. Just let the camera roll, and uh, uh, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, I've been sitting here for a while. Something just moved behind me. Something just moved behind me. Jeez. Okay. Seats are up in this theater. This one's down. Huh. All right, it's we got lights on in here. Uh, we got lights on. We're in the basement of the Alchemist, and uh, it's about 1 a.m. and uh, I'm shooting the first round through this hallway here, uh, behind the door, and that's of course back in this. We'll shoot this in a little bit later. Look into the rooms that are open, uh, but this is the this is where I kept hearing doors opening and closing and just stuff that I couldn't see. But I have a couple lights on this time to help. People upstairs. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look, see if this prop is still back here again, and we'll take a look. Come on. See if this prop is still back here again, and we'll take a look. Come on. That, that's not cool. <laughs> that door open? No, the door was open. That door was closing. If anybody's in there messing with me, I'm gonna kick your ass. Jeez. Oh, okay, flashlight. Hello? While Phil had found more than he had already bargained for, his ordeal was about to get way worse. Hello? Hey. Oh, 
Camera, cameras. Out, out, out. <gasps> In the start, Phil explains a bit about his mission and takes a seat with his cameras all set up. At first, he seems fine, but then suddenly jumps up after realizing something had moved behind him. Upon investigating, he realized that something or someone had pushed the chair down. The video then time lapses into the basement where Phil had reported hearing doors banging and other strange sounds. For a while, it was dead silent until Phil made a remark about hearing the upstairs tenants. However, it later turned out that those same tenants were not even home at the time of the incident. He then continues to investigate further and even pries open a door but finds nothing. It was only until he started approaching the door at the end of the hallway that all hell broke loose when the door decided to fling open by itself. Phil is sent running to the other side of the hall but, against his better judgement, gathers his flashlight in an attempt to investigate another room. A few seconds after he enters the room, the door violently slams shut. He loses his balance for a few seconds but instantly storms out of the room. As he gathers his equipment, another door can be seen violently flung open. Number 4. Encountering a Jinn We give credit to Abdullah al-Anabari for this video. In this video, we witness well-known ghost hunter Abdullah al-Anabari embark on yet another terrifying Jinn exploration. The building he's exploring is quite creepy, but nothing really happens at first. However, his fate is immediately sealed the second he walks through a strange white door. Over time, we have seen Abdullah have some nail biting encounters, but the worst may still be coming. Bismillah. 
بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ايش اللي سووا هنا استغفر الله العظيم بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله بسم الله The beginning of the video is relatively calm with Abdullah saying a prayer before entering the Eerie building. He ventures through the ruins with no issue, but when he begins to approach a white door, it creepily opens on its own. This occurrence prompts him to investigate further in other parts of the building. He enters a room and pans his camera around before a door violently shuts behind him. He manages to get out of the room but is stopped in his tracks when a bucket moves right next to him. He frantically pans his camera around as something can be seen thrown in front of him. Although clearly scared, he continues to investigate until a door begins to violently open and close on its own, sending him into a panic. He can be heard praying loudly moments before a piece of furniture rattles right in front of him. Just when he thought he could catch a break, a door slams shut the moment he enters the room. He storms through the door and begins screaming hysterically as yet another door begins violently banging open and shut. He stumbles with staggering breath as he tries to find a way out, but before he makes his escape, another door shuts in his face. After getting out of the room, he hurries down the stairs and doors can be heard slamming violently. Number 3. This is my house. We give credit to Van Kustler for this video. In this video, we meet a man who has been plagued by some truly scary paranormal activity. Here's what he managed to capture on camera. Tired of this. Get out of my house. The video kicks off with the man taking us through his eerie looking kitchen and then living room. But frankly, nothing seems amiss until we hear a loud thud coming from the kitchen. When the man goes back to check, he finds that all the contents of his fridge have been dumped out onto the floor. The video then time lapses to the next day where things continue to escalate. 
He records throughout the house without issues until he decides to confront what has been haunting him. The entity lets off an intense growl while items start falling to the ground, cupboards and doors fly open with the alarm blaring in the midst of it all. Number 2. Haunted Classroom in this nail-biting video, we watch horror unfold right before our eyes in what seems to at first be a normal classroom when an entity decides to disrupt the learners. In the start, everything seems normal and goes smoothly until a poster on the board comes crashing to the ground on its own. The teacher seems quite shaken up but continues to teach regardless. All is well until a student notices the bin start moving slightly and then more intensely. Not even a few minutes after the table begins to move a bit and then completely shifts and we see the students jump up as the door shuts, ending the video abruptly. Number 1. The Ghost Attack We give credit to Elsa McIntosh for this video. In this terrifying clip, a group of friends enter a room that has been mysteriously locked up for six years, and what happens next will shock you to your core. Okay, why did that take so long? Was it the wrong key? No. Is there cameras in there? Why would there be cameras? Grandpa crazy. Grandpa crazy. Grandpa crazy. Oh, it's just a bedroom? Are you going in? Fuck no, I've been in a bad feeling about this. I don't feel good. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm getting, this is like, why I'm white people right die in movies, bro. Nah. We have black up in this bitch. Oh my god, I just got so lightheaded. What is that? I just got so... I just got so lightheaded. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I got lightheaded as soon as I walked in here. You are not welcome here. Oh, my head's itching. I think there's, there's lights in here. here. Leave. You are not welcome. Why is Santa Claus locked up? That's why I'm stuck in this room. Why, Santa? Why are you locked up? It could be an object in here. Yeah. Do you guys ever think about that? Like, it could be an object. You could just burn the whole room. Can I turn in the closet? Oh, my bag's burning. <laughs> Is it really? Bitch, my bag's burning! Oh my god! Look, you're king! Stop, stop. No, get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out. Smarks up your back. Stop. <laughs> no, you can't stop. You're giving me anxiety. <laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking god. You're kidding, right? You're the video starts with the friends entering the room while burning sage. Almost immediately, the friends start experiencing simultaneous lightheadedness while they're exploring. The group continues to look through different creepy items such as a Santa until one starts complaining about a burning sensation on his back. The cameraman cracks a joke about him having scratches on his back but when they actually go to check they realize that this boy's lower back was actually covered in real deep scratches. At that point, the group freaked out and decided to get out of the room where they got to fully see the extent of their friend's wounds. So, my question for you is, who or what scratched this boy? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon.